<laughs> to perform a pause standing barbell shoulder press or military press, you will be doing just like a normal military press or normal barbell shoulder press. You're just adding a pause at the bottom of each repetition. Some people do this naturally, um, but this is to try to get you out of bouncing the bar out of the hole um, and to also stop you from having any kind of momentum. It's just gonna make the movement a whole lot harder and it's also gonna cause your traps and your delts to get a lot more work on the exercise rather than being able to use your body structure to pop the bar up. So you're gonna start the bar off um, at shoulder height. So I've got my J hook set up so that the barbell is at my shoulder height. If you don't have a bar of a, or a, a rack available, you can always clean the bar up and do it from there. But regardless, you're starting from your shoulders. So go ahead and walk in. Hands will be usually just outside the width of the shoulders, but you can vary that a little bit based on your comfortability. You're gonna take the bar off of the rack. We're gonna press the bar up, just like a normal military press. So head shoots through, hands go straight over the crown of the head. So bring the bar back down and you're gonna have a two to three second pause here at the bottom. So it's up, down, pause, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, maybe three, up, down, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, just like that. Okay, so just adding a pause at the bottom of each repetition. Make sure that your knees are not locked. There should be a little bit of a bend, but also try to avoid using the legs to pop the bar up because that becomes more of a push press. So we are trying to stick with just a standard military press or barbell shoulder press, no extra work from the legs.